My name is Nikki and I play bass. My name is Brian, I sing and play guitar. Uh, my name is Joe and I play keyboards. My name is Christopher and I play drums in Silver Sun pickups. I met <clears throat> Nikki on a plane going to England. She was stealing alcohol bottles from the stewardess. I thought that was pretty cool. We didn't really have any songs or anything, but we were just having fun, not really thinking about it. And Nikki sent a, t a boombox tape in to CMJ, the music festival. So we made a bio that had our band name. <laughs> we chose from a liquor store that we live near and uh, got into the festival. And we're like, what the f fudge? <laughs> A lot of our friends were mad at us because they actually had record labels and, and you know, real ins. And we had a tape that sounded like a bunch of nonsense and a bio about our cat. And we were playing in New York for a show. And we were a mess. We were terrible. We got a lot better once Joe and Christopher. Yeah, then as a group, we, we got people who knew how to play. And Joe and Christopher came in. When we recorded the EP, we had like more than enough songs, and we knew that some of them were going to be on the EP and some of them were going to be on the record. We wanted it to sound like if you listen to, if you just heard a song off of one of the one of the records, you'd know what record it was off of just from how it sounded. We had a month of pre-production when we first were getting to know Dave, and um, sometimes we clashed with him with song ideas, and, and then by the time we had worked everything out, the studio time was great because we were finally getting on the same page. He really worked us really hard um, in pre-production and I think that was the hardest thing and when we got in the studio we were all like prepared to just like okay we gotta this is gonna be tough this is gonna be difficult um, and, it, and in some points it was but he really held our hands through the whole process. He made it really simple easy for us you know. We didn't really care which one was the single. But we thought they were all singles. Well, Thought Twinkles was shot in a soundstage in Hollywood. The one request of our label was going to be that it would be a performance video. It was so simple, you know. Obviously, it was just just to shoot us, pretty much, and make it kind of abstract and black, black and white contrast and pop art. Oh, it yeah. felt like we were in, like, a, an action movie. Oh, because yeah. Because he kept on screaming at us to like, harder, faster, go! What's really cool is that people never get the tone of songs wrong. That's what I've found out. Like with us, like people take their own meanings and I think that's really great. Like it sounds like a bit of a cop out, like, well, I'm just writing like crap and saying, well, what do you think it's about? That's exactly right, no way. I guess that's sort of how we work, Song, songs album titles, and even our band name. Excuse me, we're doing a, uh, a big interview here. Scions. The fact that we've known each other for so long, like right now, talking to you with this mic, they're looking at me like, there's Brian, totally look at him in interview mode. We had to get used to like not just taking pictures like as friends at a party, like... We have so many band photos that have nothing to do with the band, <laughs> like us in Magic Mountain. And that got us into CMJ. Here's some advice. If you want to get into CMJ, forget like big photographers all stuff. Just go on one of those rides at Magic Mountain where the four of you are in the car. That'll get you in. Yeah, vlog of Splash Mountain.